Kelly, middle school language arts teacher, author of the YA sci-fi series, The Lucia Chronicles, and the YA sci-fi fantasy series, The Elementals. This is going to be a spoiler-free book review of Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. And it's been a while since I finished it. I think I finished it like a week or two ago. Um, so that's part of the reason that's going to be spoiler-free is because I've read like two other books since then and my memory is not always the best. So basically, this is the conclusion to the Grisha trilogy and it follows um, Mal and Alina and the Darkling, mostly Mal and Alina, and it's about their hunt for the Firebird. Um, there's kind of a band of misfits that goes on this journey with them. Um, the Darkling, there's a couple battle scenes, um, and so we start to learn some secrets about the Darkling, we start to learn some secrets about his mother, we start um, learning a little bit more about Alina and Mal's background. Parts of the story, um, when the Darklings, I will just say trying to get Alina's attention, if you want to call it that, um, are kind of dark and morbid a little bit. Um, it's about Alina wondering if people are going to stay by her side. It's about, um, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. And I had a feeling throughout the series that Mal was going to be very important, and it turns out that I was right, but I was not correct in how he's important. Um, that was kind of shocking. And I will say this, though, that the ending for me was satisfactory. Um, I kind of expected somebody's demise, and I wasn't surprised. Um, and I just liked the way that it ended. I thought it was, thought it was kind of su sweet. And this book also has a um, prequel story called The Demon in the Woods and it's about the Darkling when he's a child and I really like that because it really puts some perspective on his ambitions and I feel like the Darkling, he's a, such a great villain because he's ruthless and cruel and kind of disturbing at times and yet you kind of like him. You may even love him and I think that's a really unique ability to have. Um, both on the Darkling's behalf and that Lee Bardugo could create a character like that. And if you love the Darkling, in my Etsy shop, The Bookish Flame, I do have a Darkling candle. And it is $7 for a four ounce candle. And it is the smell of um, night musk. So you might want to check that out if you're a Darkling fan. Um, so Ruin and Rising, I think I gave it five stars or maybe like four and a half stars. And... I just really enjoyed this series and I'm hoping to read um, in November along, even though I'm doing NaNoWriMo, um, I'm hoping to read uh, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom because I am becoming a huge fan of Lee Bardugo's um, writing and her characters and I love that she creates female characters who are uh, strong and they're strong in their own ways, not just the protagonist female lead, but you know, she has these strong realistic female characters and I think we need um, a little bit more of that, and I think I can even learn from that in my own writing. So, Ruin and Rising, awesome. You should check it out. In the meanwhile, happy reading and happy writing.